Hello, this is Navin here from Globe Tech Hubli. Welcome to Globe Tech. Today it's an another case. Let's start it. This is Dell Ostro 3558 model. Uh, it is actually a dead laptop. You can say when I plug in the adapter, the adapter light automatically goes off. Zoom it here. See. If I plug in the adapter, the adapter light is on now. I just plug in this adapter to this laptop. Adapter light automatically goes off. This is because of internal short in the laptop. So let's solve this. Okay. I have already removed this the battery. There is no hard drive in this laptop. <coughs> For what reason the adapter light is going off? Because of the internal short in the laptop motherboard, the voltage is reversing. That's why adapter light is going off. Okay, now I have opened this laptop motherboard and I'm connecting the adapter now. See, the same issue. After light goes off. Same. So let's let's solve this problem. With the cold test. The first current limiting resistor is showing me short with ground. So the every 19 voltage capacitor is also showing me short. So we don't know exactly where is the short is. Let's find out. What I will do is. First, I will isolate the first current limiting register. Somebody have already tried this in this motherboard. See, I have isolated this. Uh, Current limiting resistor. And it is showing me both side is short with the ground. Because it is a 19 voltage, it will show the short with ground. Let's inject a small voltage to this motherboard. Let's inject a small voltage to this motherboard <coughs> to find out where is the exact fault in this motherboard. So I am soldering <coughs> the positive voltage, the positive wire is to the current limiting resistor and the negative wire to the ground.
This is good temporary to find out the shot. So I am giving a small voltage look at this this is my DC power supply see I am giving a 1 voltage and it is consuming an ampere of 0 0.8 1 1.75 to 1.80 amps and uh, here we will see where is the short is the short component will get heat so in this way we can find out the exact location of the short component so this is another tool this is a wireless thermometer you can see here the room temperature it is showing the boat temperature here it is 31 degrees Celsius from here on same in, the, in this side it is showing 33 degrees Celsius everywhere is the same here we have connected this wire that's why it is showing a 2 degree upper side it has to show at least a 10 degree difference so in this case unfortunately this device is not helping us so we have to find out by isolating the every single circuits so let's do it What is with? See, I am isolating here. This is a 3 volt and 5 volt section where the 19 voltage is input. Tissue paper. I have isolated this 3 5 volt section to find out the short. You can see the input section is showing short, and the inner side of the 3 5 volt it is not short. That means my 3 5 section is safe. Then Okay, this is my RAM section. We will isolate this also. See here, I am not removing any component. I am just isolating the circuits. There are 3 to 4 sections in this motherboard where 19 voltage goes as input. My RAM section is also good. My RAM section is also good. Input section is showing me short. <coughs> that means my 3 volts and 5 volts section is okay. Then CPU section. We'll try here in CPU section.
माई सी पी यू सेक्शन इज ऑल्सो ओपन वन साइड शोइंग मी शॉर्ट वन साइड नथिंग ट्राई इन चार्जिंग सेक्शन You can see the both side is showing me beep. That means here is the problem. So what we'll do? now the only these two capacitors are showing me short let's remove these two capacitors one by one on This capacitor is shorted. You can see it is giving beep, and this capacitor is good. Let's inject a same voltage. Now you can see there is a one volt, and no ampere is consumed. It is consuming a zero amps. that means the board shorting is gone so let's close all the circuits which uh, we have isolated Let's reinsert this current limiting resistor.
to this original adapter before it was uh, adapter light was going off you can see the light is on And the board is also on. Let's see the light here. Let's fix this to laptop and check the display. After reassembling this motherboard, we are uh, going to start this. You can see the light is on now. Switching it on. Laptop uh. is also on. So our problem solved. Thanks for watching. Please support us. Thank you.